Ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to spread out over here so that you can hear well, um, we would love that. If you could just kind of spread out on both sides of the monument.
Detail! Attain! Hot! Hot! Ma! Thank you very much for being here. We very much appreciate it. Sorry for my, my delay. I actually, my mother was in surgery, so I, I made it after her. It's, it's an honor for me. I didn't want to miss this. Uh, Aguilar family, uh, it's been a great pleasure to know all of you. We had an, op had an opportunity to actually work with Mrs. Aguilar when she was on the council. I know that Benny uh, did so much for the community. It's reflected in all these faces that you see here. There's a big gathering here. We as a city are very much appreciative of everything that he has done and that you as a family have done for this community. So this is a small token in our appreciation. And uh, I want to thank also Council Member Aguilar, our mayor, and uh, all the other council members who made this possible. But it wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for the just the dedication that the Aguilar family has for this community. So when this came up, it was, it was something that was very honorable and we very, very appreciate. So with that, I want to, let's give the Aguilar family a big, big round of applause. I know that uh, in the audience here, so where's Mr. Uh, our public works director, if you can call, come on up. Uh, let's see. 
Anthony, Sharia. He's, he's up here. In the meantime, as he's coming up, I, I want to invite our mayor, uh, Paul Samrat, to come say a few words. If you might, let's give him a big round of applause, please. First of all, everybody, uh, thank you for coming out to Sergeant, uh, honor Sergeant uh, Aguilar for his dedication to the service, to the community and the country as a whole. There is no greater honor in life than to serve the people that you live with in, uh, in your country that you're living. And also, you can never underestimate or the, the dedication and the willing to sacrifice from the mothers and the fathers of the children that are serving in the armed forces. That's something that we cannot ever repay to the moms and dads, especially when they lose their sons and daughters in service or afterwards when they're serving the community. So, and as we get ready to dedicate this park to Sergeant uh, Aguilar, I, it's our hope that it gets used for children for recreation and also to inspire what the dedication for uh, service to the country is. With that, uh, thank you. I know that uh, Council Member Aguilar would have loved to have been here. Unfortunately, he had a little incident where his uh, inward side is burst and He's in the hospital, so he wanted me to convey to all of you that if, if he could drag himself out of there, he would have been here today. So uh, let's give him a big round of applause. Uh, I also want to take a quick moment. I know that the, uh, the mother of Karina Lau is here. And as we all know, Mrs. Lau passed away. So uh, we also want to let you know that we are we keep everybody in your we're keeping your daughter in our prayers, and uh, and let's let's recognize that by giving her a big round of applause. <laughs> At this time, I would like to call uh, uh, someone from the uh, Aguilar family to come on up and say a few words. <coughs> on behalf of my family and I. We'd like to thank the city of Livingston and everyone involved in the process of dedicating this park in honor of Benny. We are forever grateful of all the tremendous effort and all you have put forward to make this event happen today. We also want to thank everyone else who is present here today. It has taken me some time to speak, but today I would like to share something about the wonderful man I married. Sergeant Benito A. Aguilar served honorably in the United States Marine Corps from August 2005 to April 2014. Benny was an Iraqi and Afghanistan war veteran. Was awarded the Navy Unit Citation, Marine Corps Good Conduct Medal, National Defense Service Medal, Iraq and Afghanistan Campaign Medals, Global War on Terror, NATO Medal, and ISAF, which is the International Security Assistance Force in Afghanistan Award. I could continue the list of awards and recognitions that Benny earned during his lifetime. But the truth is that his success in life was not just measured by those hard-earned accomplishments. Therefore, I want to talk about who Benny was and the gift he has given us by the way in which he lived. The most rewarding gift to our family is knowing the positive impact <coughs> Benny had on people's lives and knowing that his life was not in vain. Because as many of you can attest, here today, he has blessed lives and made this world a better place. Benny was the epitome of service. Benny was the epitome of service, driven by a tremendous spirit of leadership. He lived in service to his country and to, and to this community. He was the type of person who could not see something wrong and not do something about it. He always found a way to give whatever he had 
or do whatever he could to help someone in need. Helping others gave him a sense of purpose and joy, and therefore he continued to serve as a memorable member of the community. Benny volunteered as our kids' t-ball coach for the 2005, 2015 baseball season, participated in Livingston's Relay for Life, and had hopes of continuing his service as a veteran and giving back to the community he called home, which supported his service so proudly. Benny impacted everyone who had the privilege of meeting him. He didn't have to wear the numerous medals earned during his service in the Marine Corps for public display in, in order to earn the respect of the community. He earned the respect and gratitude of others through his service to humanity, whether it was coaching his children t-ball practice, greeting his neighbors with a warm smile, mentoring other Marines, playing a tennis match with the Yemen ambassador to the United States, or offering support to his fellow veterans. It is our wish, or the Aguilar family, that Benito's service to the community of Livingston and the devotion to the country will serve as an inspiration for others to seek a greater purpose for themselves and find the joy of helping others and to ensure that Benito's sense of duty and honor will live forever and will live for generations to come. Thank you all. Veterans and Actions. Okay, and we have George and John. Let's see, is anybody here from? Yeah, there they are. Thank you.
Consuelo Aguilar to join me with Pastor Michael so we can have the park blessing. We're going to do it in English and in Spanish. Padre Bueno, en esta hermosa mañana, mi Señor, queremos agradecerte el don de la vida. Y en modo muy especial, mi Señor, por toda la grandeza, la creación que tú has hecho. Y que en cada, e, cada cosa de la que tú creaste, mi Señor, nos ha puesto en su amor y me ha dado a nosotros. Le pedimos, mi Señor, que hoy esta comunidad que se reúne aquí, esperando, mi Señor, este gran día, este momento para la familia Aguilar y para toda esta comunidad, mi Señor, que en este parque que ha sido nombrado para Benito Aguilar, Toda aquella persona que pase, que venga a disfrutar un momento en familia, a participar, a gustar de un partido, todo mi Señor, todo aquello que se venga a compartir, que se venga a gustar, mi Señor, también de tu amor y de que podamos mirar de tu creación para nosotros. Que en este lugar donde se escucharán risas, alegrías, también mi Señor, también podemos escuchar en el silencio tu voz, tu mensaje, ese amor que nos tiene sacado uno de nosotros. Y te pedimos, mi Señor, por esta comunidad, por la familia Aguilar, por el eterno descanso de nuestro hermano Benito Armenta Aguilar, para que todos, mi Señor, juntos, seamos siempre agradecidos y siempre esperando de tu amor y de tu misericordia. Todo esto, mi Señor, te lo pedimos, que bendigas este lugar y que nos bendigas a cada uno de nosotros. Y decimos en el nombre del Padre, del Hijo, del Espíritu Santo. Amén. Bueno, a Ruby, a kids, and my mom and Aguilar family, uh, thank you for the opportunity to bless and dedicate this part to uh, my fellow yoke in the service, Sergeant Benito Aguilar. And uh, it's a blessing. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. And I know he's smiling down upon us right now. I know he is. So even though we look at this size of the Aguilar Park, and we come and we have a humble heart, there's joy in the fact that he's been remembered here by all of you, family and friends. A place where kids can come and have fun, have joy, and have playing time. It's a good time to be alive. And to tell you something, he's more alive now than he was here. So Benito's fine, sister. He's fine. <laughs> and so uh, as we pray and dedicate this park on behalf of uh, Benny, just want to bless his name and his family, that God will provide and continue to support the Aguilar family, along with family and friends. So Father, we thank you for this opportunity to bless this park on behalf of Benito Aguilar. And all will come and play, Father, the coaches, the players, even the fans who are watching, watching their kids play. Bless them, Father. Let's be a place of opportunity for young people to come together together. And the fans who rip and bore and say, yeah, he was safe, no, he was out. <laughs> they may come in harmony with one another in this community of Livingston. And we thank you, Lord, as you bless this day, as you bless this family, as you bless this time of dedication. In the name of our Father and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Now we'll move on to a reading by Robert Bolinas. Benny 
loved his community as he got older and traveled. He knew he wanted to return to Livingston, his hometown. Benny returned to Livingston with his wife and children and immediately got involved to help others. Benny coached T-ball and was a true inspiration to many young children growing up here just like him. Not only did Benny give back to our community, but he gave back to our country by serving the United States Marine Corps, serving in the Middle East to keep us at home here safe. He loved God in our country. Benny was loved and respected by so many from Livingston that it is an honor to recognize him through the naming of his park, Sergeant Benito A. Aguilar Park. His spirit will live here in this park through the children who play baseball for years to come just like he did. Here's a poem by Summer Center Cox which exemplified our Benny. Not, not how did he die, but how did he live? Not what did he gain, but what did he give? Our community remembers that and honors Benny today, and we know that he's here in spirit to help inspire you. Thank you. At this point, I would like to ask Toby to, we're going to have the raising of the flag, and I mean, uh, we're going to have the microphone, and I would really like to have everybody stand at this point in time. Toby? You guys can take a seat. I'd like to open this little space. 
Just in case any uh, other uh, Aguilar family member would like to say a few words before we close. Uh, if there's anybody like to... Anthony? Hello, everyone. My name's Anthony Chavaria. I work in the Public Works Department. I just wanted to take this time just to say thank you for coming today to support the Aguilar family. Also wanted to express to the Aguilar family on behalf of Public Works what a privilege this was for me, for my staff, for everyone involved. Not just a privilege, but an honor to be able to work on this park dedication for the Memorial Code family. I'll tell you that Public Works took great pride in everything that we did. I hope that this memorial brings the Agler family much joy and happiness for years to come. God bless you. I also like to thank um, everybody that participated in one way, shape, or form, starting from the Aguilar family to our council, to our public works, our police department, the explorers, and then also, you know, we want to thank Jaime and his team, and then also uh, Beatrice for uh, coming with the music, and uh, so let's give them a big round of applause. <laughs> so, uh, with that, uh, I would just Anybody would like to say a few words? Hi, how's it going? Um, I just wanted to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart for coming out today. Um, this means the world to us. The Aguilar family, the community of Livingston coming together like this. It's huge. Um, this park is not just, it's named after my brother, uh, but I want everybody to, you know, take a time to come out here and enjoy it. Um, Thank God it's a beautiful day today. Um, this park is here for everybody to enjoy, and hopefully um, with time to come, we can build a little bit, maybe do some fundraisers, and uh, do a little uh, playground here for the kids, and maybe some events that make the community to come together, and just know that this is for us, and um, for our kids to have fun and enjoy themselves. Uh, once again, I want to thank everybody that behind the scenes that worked hard uh, to make this happen today. Um, there's a few names that might have got missed. Um, I want to thank you. And also, um, my cousin Juani's uh, speedy recovery on his uh, medical. Uh, so, um, with that said, I just want to um, take the time once again and thank you guys uh, from the bottom of my heart. Um, I appreciate it. The Aguilar family appreciates it. Um, and uh, thank you guys for coming out. Albert Ross, Alba. just uh, so much um, love and unity here today and that's what our community is about. Um, when being served, you just uh, when being served, a lot of them went up to the for that is this famous name was being and we loved it and we finally hey, knew what's going on. We, that was his name, his nickname and uh, he used to love to come back home. Let me tell you, if he was out, there's Ruby and the kids to know. If he was coming down, everybody knew he was coming down. He was telling everybody, I'm coming down, we'll be down for the weekend, let's have a bonfire. That was Benny. And he loved coming home to Livingston. He, there was nothing he would rather do than spend, what was it, six, seven hours? It depends on who he was driving. All the way over here just to get home and visit all of you guys. I know some of you guys were lucky enough and be blessed to know him and have a little call from him or a little message sent to you. That was him. You know, he wants this community. He loved this community. And this community is for all of us to remember Benny and all those fallen soldiers that are out there that are forgotten. We cannot forgive, 
forget what they have done for our community. I thank John for speaking. John, you made an impact in many just like he did in your life. And we continue honoring our veterans, whether it's Veterans Day or not. They serve our country for a purpose, and they come back and they need us to support them. And Benny was one of those soldiers that wanted to come back and help those who were in need. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm just so grateful for all of you guys to be here. I really want you guys to enjoy this day and, and, and be thankful with, with what you have. Don't want more than what, what is in front of you. Uh, give to others who in need. That was Benny. A kind word, a smile. He's, uh, those of you who know him, he was all smiling. Benito had that smile, and I see it in my granddaughter and my grandson and Ruby. And uh, that's just the way I used to see him. He was always happy. He just wanted to come home. And you know what, Benny? You're home, mijo. And we miss you like crazy. Thank you so much. George Ratana. I had the privilege to serve with Benito. We were drill instructors together back in 2009. And um, those of you that know military, being a drill instructor sucked. So I remember uh, when I met Benito, he's like, uh, we were in a, in, a, in a battalion office and he told me, don't worry, bro, it only gets better from here. So we want to thank everyone for supporting. Uh, as John was saying, he started this club, Veterans in Action, and will continue to carry out his vision and his dreams. Uh, Benito, uh, him and I reunited uh, about, you know, back in 2014, and I didn't recognize him because he had a big old beard. Back then, we were clean shaven and bald and skinny, and he had a big old beard, but I was, um, he, he, was, he was a blessing in my life. Uh, again, I've known, I knew him for nine years, and uh, thankful that this is being done for him. So, like, like the family was saying, we're here to support veterans in action. is here at your guys' disposal anytime you need us, anytime. Uh, if you can't get a hold of John, get a hold of me. We're here to help, and uh, this is an honor to be a part of it. And, and what we all, as we all remember Bendy, remember his legacy, his life, that he was a great man. Uh, like they were saying, his smile, uh, it was contagious, what he did. He put out there for himself, and, and that's what, that's something we can always carry with his, his memories and, and always carry out his legacy. And if you could just give one more round of applause to Benito. God bless you all. Thank you. I want to thank Dustin and Art and several other of our uh, city employees that I just saw in the background. So they're all here. They're all supporting the city. So again, we're going to cherish this day forever. Uh, thank you for uh, having uh, Lent, Ruby, uh, Benito, and, uh, and uh, Margarita for giving us the opportunity to, to know him and to have had him be part of our community. And again, I just want to thank our mayor and our council for uh, naming this park. Uh, we're very honored. So with that, thank you again for coming. We will end with some beautiful music. Please stick around, take some photographs, uh, and, uh, and chat with uh, some of your neighbors. So thank you very much. God bless you all.